global pandemic has brought a lot of hardship and heartache um, around the world, the world over. I think it has brought unique uh, opportunities to the hospitality sector in particular and the travel and tourism sector in general. Travel came to a virtual standstill. We have a lot of consumers and travelers all around the world who are having a renewed sense of appreciation for their local environment and the nature that they find in it. And big travel companies like Hilton are taking this opportunity to sort of pause and reflect on what we can be doing. So essentially what we're seeing, I think, is a reset. And that reset gives us an opportunity to build the travel industry back better. So we can transition from what we called the golden age of travel pre-pandemic to the golden age of sustainable travel. Hilton as a global company absolutely has fantastic aspirations to really give back to this planet. And it has come up with a fantastic goals called the 2030 Goals Travel with Purpose. And it's really high lofty pillars and it's about what you're doing around recycling of sustainability, energy conservation, but also what are you doing in your community and how you're making that Hilton effect happen. The Hilton effect at Hilton, it's where we employees of our hotels uh, want to do something beyond just providing customer service to the guests that walk into their hotels. They want to extend that hospitality into their communities and really have a positive impact. It's having that culture of openness, inclusiveness, getting great ideas from everybody and just making it happen and then showing your customers you're doing it, but also showing your community. It's all about the most simplest things. It's about really creating an experience that's wonderful. So for example, we have a bamboo bike. A team members made the bamboo bike here in the hotel. So you know that it's totally sustainable. Also, the next generation of bikes, what we have here is a volcanic bike, a bike made from rock. Also too, from coffee grinds, we take the coffee grinds and we recycle it to come up with a little briquette so you can use it for your little fireplace at home. So again, these are some of the little things you can do to make sustainability happen in your hotel. I've actually calculated that over the last century, we've had a trillion dollars in economic impact in our communities. We have welcomed over three billion guests in, into our hotels. We've hired more than 10 million people from our communities. In 2008, we launched a proprietary software program for all of our hotels to use that would allow them to track energy usage, carbon emissions, water usage, food waste, to make sure that year over year, they were making efforts to make sure that they were leaving the community in a better place environmentally than when they first opened or when they first found that community. When our guest rooms were designed, not only did they focus on just the beautiful contemporary design of the spaces with the clean lines, but they also made sure that the rooms were outfitted with uh, energy saving fixtures and appliances. Um, that when all added together, we save about 2 million gallons of water a year by the fixtures that were outfitted in our guest rooms. In addition to being just beautiful and serene, the landscaping really helps us to conserve water. So when the rain comes down, um, anything that's not absorbed into the, the plants themselves, um, the runoff from the patio and the sidewalk gets captured in our cistern, and the cistern in turn uses that water uh, to feed our irrigation system and to feed our cooling towers. We have a great connection and commitment to supporting local farmers, the fisheries, uh, things like oyster restoration projects to help filter and work on the quality of the water in the bay. When it comes to food waste, naturally this is a, an enormous issue uh, with about 50% of the waste not going into to good hands. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's an ask, it's a requirement, it's a necessity that each Hilton Property works with their local food banks and or identifying a partner that can help facilitate the, the products that are not being used effectively or we just have excess and so they go to into great hands and can nourish and support the local community. So over the course of the last decade we've been able to calculate for example that we've 
reduced our carbon emissions globally by 36%, that we've reduced our food waste by 44%, and we've reduced our water usage by you know, upwards of 25%. Um, so our team members rallied, our employees rally behind that um, environmental stewardship and, um, and are really the, our ambassadors in, in the community when it comes to climate change mitigation. Mr. Hilton, you're said to be a man with a divine mission as a as an innkeeper. Is this true? And if well, so, I'll what tell is you, the when mission? you're going to talk about that word divine, I think you'll have to pause for a moment. Well, we're uniquely blessed at Hilton, I believe, because we had a founder who over a century ago wanted had the noble premise that he was going to start the world's first global hospitality company to make the world a better place through travel. So we've had that founding purpose sort of ingrained in our culture for over a century, you know, at a time when a lot of companies are still searching to redefine or you know, look for their purpose. So personally, I've had uh, always felt a great connection with the earth. And so as I was looking to join a company, it was, it was imperative that the values aligned with my personal beliefs. For me to be part of Hilton and we're focused on these things, we have ability to change uh, the, the world, essentially. You know, I grew up in 15 different countries, you know, and I, I want to make sure that the experiences I've had throughout life that future generations are able to, to have as well. So I think protecting um, the places we love and protecting the communities we're in is a huge part of what we need to do. Sustainability for me, it's, it's a way of life because I fundamentally believe I want to leave a legacy, not for the next generation, for the next five generation. Um, and that's where I'm just passionate about doing the right thing. So for us, it's about offering that customer that says, hey, we're taking care of you. We're taking care of the planet. And why don't you come and try it out? Mm -hmm.